Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my springtime favorites, and you're gonna hear some noise. Little video disclaimer, Lola is in here with me today. It is really dark and cloudy, and she gets really, really scared on days like this because she can't see very well. So I did a little quick video of her just to show her to you. Hello, Lola. Video disclaimer time. Lola is gonna join us today. She's a good girl. And she's getting settled down now, so she'll probably be snoring very soon, very loudly. <laughs> okay, so I can't remember what I've said already because she distracts me so much when she's in here. But today I'm doing a video on my spring favorites. I was originally planning to do this like a week or two ago and make it like a Mother's Day kind of an addition, but I decided not to because I know for me, my daughters have asked me what I want for Mother's Day, and I told them nothing at all. And um, I really hope they don't get me anything. I just want them to come over for lunch. I know a lot of you feel the same way. Um, of course, I bought my mom something and my mother-in-law something, but you know, I just feel like a lot of us don't want, you know, any gifts. <laughs> but we may want to get ourselves a little bitty something. So. Thought I would just share some of my current favorites with you. I'm going to start with handbags, which obviously I haven't been using handbags. I have been doing grocery pickup, delivery. Um, the first store I went in in like seven weeks was a UPS, and there was only the two people working there. I just dropped a package that was prepaid and ran. Um, I did finally go to Costco. I think I've been talking about Costco the last five videos or something. I don't even know, but I went yesterday. They're now finally in our state um, requiring masks for everybody. And I really liked how they had it set up. Our grocery stores are as many people can come in as they want. Our state is reopened. So anyways, I'm not going to get into all of that. I don't want to be depressing. I'm well aware of what's going on in the world. I hope you're all staying safe, well, healthy, healthy, happy. And I just want to have a lighthearted few moments with you. So the bag that I did take yesterday with me to Costco is the Coach Cassie. And I brought the black one because I was wearing jeans. It was really, really hot yesterday and today it's like 50 something degrees. It's just crazy. But um, I was wearing jeans and so I didn't want to worry about color transfer with the beautiful taupe color. And um, I also, they thought it was gonna rain. And I wasn't sure how long you had to wait in line outside. I, we were there less than three minutes, but I did have an umbrella in this and I had it pretty full. It's actually still full. It's really, really comfortable. I have used it a few times prior to all of this, but um, I was in Costco for a really long time because I had not been inside of Costco for nine weeks. So I was actually just out of a lot of stuff. So went through the store, but very, very comfortable bag. And I am just so excited to start using this one with white jeans and lighter colored pants and dresses and all that stuff. It's such a beautiful color. You can still find these on great sales. So those of you who have been asking me about where this one uh, to get the tote, I will link it down below, but I will also tell you the stores because they seem to be coming in and out of stock. Macy's, Dillard's, and Saks Fifth Avenue have had this particular color. I just can't say enough good things about these bags. I will link a video down below that has a lot more in-depth information on these, but those are the three stores. And um, if you see that it's out, just keep checking back and they have been popping back in and out of stock. The other one that I have been carrying is this one. It's actually sat on the front seat a lot. I did take it, I did go to one other store. I had to get some, um, some things from my garden and um, I went in the garden department of um, Home Depot, which they had it set up pretty good there too. Why can't grocery stores do that? I don't know if they freak me out, but this is the YSL Mini Lou bag, and it is in the color smog, and the hardware is gold. I just think it's such a great alternative to the Chanel Mini or to a wallet on a chain. It does have the credit card slots in the back, and I just recently did a full review on this as well, so I will link that down below too, so you can see it, but I'm not carrying very much because I'm not, I mean, you know, I've only gone in two places, and at um, the garden center, I left my sunglasses on. I can fit them in here, 
that I left them on, which when you're wearing a mask and you, if, if you have to wear glasses or sunglasses, my daughter and I have the same thing. We have naturally very hot eyes. We put on glasses and they fog up. My husband laughs at both of us. With a mask, it's really hard to see, but um, it has nothing to do with this bag. <laughs> but, but it's just, it's a great bag. It's a great price point. You can find these on sale. Saks Fifth Avenue recently had a promotion where you could get this for $800 plus tax. I don't, not this color, this was last season's, but they had some really pretty colors. So it's a really, really great bag. I mean, I know that's still a lot of money, but it was, I think, yeah, it was 250 off, which was a really good deal. I was tempted, but um, I think one is enough. I'm trying very hard not to duplicate anymore, but that doesn't mean I won't do it. <laughs> so the next things I want to share with you are some bag organizers. The first one is from Zumoni, and this one fits my Chanel medium flaps. I have two of those, and this fits beautifully in there. I picked the berry burgundy color. It comes with a little pouch that I like to put my lipsticks in. These are so well made. They're very nice and soft. It's a very thick felt material and has little pockets inside. And I will link a discount code down below for this, but um, this is just a great way to protect your bags. And I really, really, as far as felt organizers go, I think Zimoni makes the best ones. They have in a range of different bags. Zumoni, however, does not do um, Hermes, and 7RP does not do anything but Hermes. I wanted to share the 7RP with you again. This is such an amazing, well-made organizer. The material is Alcantara, or Alcantara, however you like to say it. It is buttery soft. It is so, so beautiful. Can you see the quilts in the bottom? So it's gonna completely protect your bag. They make them for all sorts of different Hermes bags. This is, of course, for my Kelly 32. And I just love that they have the little slip pockets out here. You can put your phone in it. So much organization in here. I will insert some pictures of, I also have it in blue electric. This is Tortorelle. It's a really nice, neutral color and I will insert some pictures of the blue one inside of the Kelly. Um, I just didn't want to pull everything out of my closet today. I also have a discount code for this which I will link below and it is 30 euros off of one organizer or 70 off of two. I really cannot recommend these enough. It's um, the blue one the reason it's not out is I am using it to store my Kelly and I just didn't want to pull it out of the closet but it's down in the bag. These do not make any marks. I mean it's safe to leave it in your bag. A lot of organizers you have to be careful just to use them when you are using the bag. Now that's not the Chanel that's fine to leave in the Chanel bag but it depends on the type of bag and the type of organizer. You just want to make sure that you're not getting a lump around the bag. So I wanted to share the 7RP with you. And then now I have a whole lot of just like some beauty and some, a lot of fragrance. The one thing I have been doing, and I posted this on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It is um, Lux Purse Love, the same name. But um, I also will link things on there. Like when I can find these bags on sale, I'll put them in my stories to let you know. If you don't want to click on my link, but you you know can find the sale, that's great. But um, I posted on there, the one thing that I have been doing daily, just as a little pick-me-up, is putting on perfume. And I have been doing that every single day. I don't always put on makeup. I don't always put on real clothes. I will be very honest with you. I'm wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> it's very cold today. So I have business on the top and PJs on the bottom. So, but that is one thing I have been doing just to kind of a little self-care, a little pampering. And the other thing I'm doing is putting on lipstick. <laughs> Even though I have no makeup on, it probably looks weird, I don't care. I just, just put on some lipstick and some perfume. And I feel like I've done something good for myself. But I did, because I'm so bad at describing fragrances, and you all know that very well, I did do screenshots of the fragrances just to 
give you a more accurate description. So my most favorite one out of all the ones that I have out here is the Gucci Bloom. I absolutely love this fragrance so much and I'm just going to tell you what it says on their site instead of trying to tell you. It is floral, it's very sweet floral, and it has Rangoon, Creeper, Jasmine, Bud, and Tuberose. And it's just, it lasts a long time. I got the big bottle, but it also it comes in a set with both of these. I also got the roller ball. But if you just wanted to try it out and you didn't want to invest in the big bottle, I love that it comes in a roller ball. And I love roller balls for travel. I think they're just awesome. So the next one, love this one. I got this one. I forget when, I don't know, but you can see I've used quite a bit at the top there. But this is Chanel Chance um, Eau Tendre, Tender, Tender, um, I'm not good with French. It's a fruity floral. And so this one is grapefruit, quince, rose accord, and white musk. And if this one's a lighter floral than the Gucci Bloom, yeah, it's quite a bit lighter. It's just, it's really feminine. It's just a really, really, really pretty, pretty scent. I really like that and you can get these on sale a lot of um, the big retailers like Neiman's and um, Nordstrom and of course Sephora just did their VIB sale but they've been having like 20% off 25% off beauty which is unheard of they usually only do that maybe like once a year so all these are great to get on sale the next ones are all Joe Malone and I picked all of these because these are actually they're just my spring summer go-to's and if you get the small ones like I do, they are really, really inexpensive compared to, you know, some of the larger bottles. These are $70. This one is the Orange Blossom, and it just says fresh, fresh floral. It smells like oranges. It just smells like, it smells like, kind of like honeysuckle, but not as sweet as honeysuckle. That was not a good description. My description's better than theirs. <laughs> for once but it's it's just this is my absolute favorite you can see i've used a ton of that one the next one is honeysuckle and Devana, and this one i picked up last year and it says it's a warm floral with honeysuckle Devana, and moss and it is pretty honeysuckle by itself can be really overwhelming but the musk in this tones it down where you're still getting that really sweet scent but you're not getting that overwhelming you know plain like I wore plain honeysuckle when I was a little kid it's too much for me as an adult but the next one is wild bluebell and this one is really pretty it's a fresh floral bluebell persimmon and white musk the white musk just it does something I like musk a lot when it's mixed with florals and it's just, it's a really light, this one is a very, very light, much lighter than the Honeysuckle and Devana. It's just a real clean, pretty smell. And the last one, which I don't need to look at to describe it to you, is Red Roses. But I will anyways. Um, so this is similar to um, my Jo Loves. So Jo Malone sold her company and she started a new one, Jo Loves, and she has a... Um, a I think it's a white lemon leaves and roses. It's like one of my favorite, favorite scents from her. And this is very similar. It has lemon, scarlet, velvet rose, and honeycomb. It's a really nice rose. It's um, not overly sweet, and it's not, rose scents can be very cloying, you know what I mean? Like it can be just so in your face. It's not like that. So that's, I know that was a lot of perfume, but that is really, that's what I have been doing this whole time. Just that's one thing for myself. So now I've got a whole lot of lip products because that's the other thing I've been doing for myself. I'm not going to show them all individually. I will put the colors down below that I like. But these three are all YSL and they are all lip glosses. The one I have on right now is that pink one to go with my pink shirt. But these ones have the neatest applicator. They're shaped like lips. It's really cute. Not sure how well that's going to show up, but um, they're very long lasting and they're not tacky or sticky at all. I cannot stand tacky, sticky lipstick. It's just awful. The other ones are also 
three other ones are from, not all the other ones, <laughs> three others are also from Saint Laurent. These are called the, um, I think they're called Balm and Oil. Uh, I'll write it down below. But these are fabulous. They give you color, but it's pretty sheer. Like this one, for example, it looks like it's like the craziest, hottest pink. I'll just put it on over what I've on, just to show you. I don't have a mirror, so. But see, it's not like as crazy as you would think it is. It's like pretty sheer. But these ones smell fruity. They smell absolutely delicious. I just, I love these. You cannot go wrong with YSL lip products. They're really, really fabulous. Next, I share these all the time because they are just such a good price point and I just love them. And they're Guerlain and they're the little lipstick cases. This one is like a honeycomb, silver and black. And then I have the gold and you can also get the bottoms in gold or silver. I just did with silver. And then I also have a baby pink. So you can just get one of these cases. You don't have to get multiples like crazy lipstick loving me. And then you can get multiple lipsticks and then you just put the lipstick into the case. You have a dual mirror with a magnifier and a regular. Let me show you the other colors and I will put these down below. The really pretty pink. I just love these. The case is, I think, 30, I don't know. I'll write it down below. I'm not remembering, but it's not bad. And these also, when you do find the 20% off that will happen on the big stores, these are usually included in that, which is really, really nice. So, where to now? Let's move into lotion, because we are all washing our hands a ton, a ton, a ton. So, let me share some lotions with you. Okay, so let's get into the lotion. She's snoring pretty good over there. Can you hear her? Oh my goodness. So I brought in an unopened one just to show you. I have one of these by my sink. It's from the Body Shop. It is Shea Nourishing Whipped Lotion. It's a very nice and very rich lotion. And I mean, we're going through in the kitchen a thing of soap a week. I mean, we've always been big hand washers, but you know, you're washing your hands now with, at least for me, like if I brought a package in the house, I didn't turn around and wash my hands. If I went and got the mail, I didn't wash my hands. And you know, all these things that you touch now, it's like you're turning around and washing your hands. So they've been very, very dry. And um, so this is fabulous. I do want to point out, I know I'm very blotchy. I am really, really hot with these filming lights. So I know a lot of you always will ask me down below. It's just, it's a redhead thing and it just happens for no reason or the wind blows or whatever. I had a person who told me they were a friend try to hurt my feelings by telling me I was blotchy in my videos. Doesn't hurt my feelings. I am blotchy, it is what it is, I can't help it. But I get asked down below, so I'm just gonna tell you right now, it just happens. This one is really, really good. I keep this one on the side table next to um, where I sit and watch TV. This is, um, again, from the Body Shop, and it's Almond Hand and Nail Cream. The um, packages are different now, which is a good thing. I think they're in plastic instead of this metal. The metal was bad because if you've ever had anything in a metal tube and you start to squeeze it out and it'll keep going, that's how this would do. But I had stocked up on these when it was still the old version, and so that's why I have the metal one. The new one is definitely better. And then I also have kind of a luck, well not kind of, a luxury hand cream. It's definitely a luxury hand cream. This one is La Creme Main uh, Texture Rich from Chanel. And it is very, very pricey. I'm not gonna say it isn't, but this lasted me an entire year. I would keep it in my handbag. I didn't use it at home. But especially when you're traveling, yes, hello Buzzsaw. <laughs> when you're traveling, it's that's why she gets a video disclaimer <laughs> right there. It's, um, you're washing your hands with all like harsher soap than you would ever purchase at home. Like I always try to buy moisturizing soaps and um, this is just really, really good. Let me see if I just, just adjust her a tiny bit. She might, she might be quiet, hang on. As soon as I stood up, she stopped. So <laughs> I have two other ones that I like to carry in. 
a handbag and again both from the body shop i really like their products a lot i have raved about their products on here for years and again they always have really great sales don't ever buy anything from them unless it's on sale because it will go on sale so these are just real small ones that you can put in your handbag this one is british rose and this one is the shea butter and i just really really like these this is what the new packaging is like so it looks like it's metal but it's uh it's not whereas this one is metal so these ones won't squirt out in your bag which is good then i also have keeping in line with moisture i have a coconut beautifying oil again from the body shop i've been taking a ton of bubble baths and i will link my video down below with my self-care um, pampering favorites everything was 30 dollars and under i found the best bubble bath and the best best epsom salt soak try to say that in one word and i've been taking a ton of baths and i put this on when i get out and it's called a dry oil and it's true it's not like um if you ever used to put baby oil on after the shower and you'd be pretty oily and you might get some of that on your clothes so i put this on I rub it in then i dry off with a towel and i just i've never had any oil get on anything it's just fabulous 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 can i say that as many times as i can <laughs> i love that stuff so i did not do a whole lot of shopping with the sephora vib sale as i just i have too much stuff let's be very honest when you get to the vib level or at ulta at the platinum level and you're just buying for yourself and not for your daughters i mean i have got them gifts but i'm saying they don't live with me anymore so i'm not you know, buying all their makeup and stuff like I did in high school, you have just flat out bought too much stuff. So trying not to do that anymore, but I did get a few eyeshadow palettes I wanted to share with you. Again, I picked these up for travel. It's very hard for me to find a good travel set. I don't know when I'm ever gonna travel again, but that is what I bought these for. The first one is from NARS, and it is my first um, NARS product I believe I've ever had. I've had a few samples from um, them but um, this palette is super super pigmented I did do uh, swatches on my hand but I didn't want to like really get into it so it'd be looking messy for you the color of this palette I brought the box out so I would remember and I don't know where the name is I will write it down below maybe it's on the back oh suede it's on the back it's suede it's just it's great i love these colors and i just love that they're really really saturated i bought a few sets um that just did not work out for me and this one was so cute i had to get it and i really was surprised how much i love it it's beauty bento box from kaja and the color on this one is on the outside it is toasted caramel and um colors Browns and golds go very well with my skin tone, but they have a lot of different colors. There's a little mirror on the top. The first one is a gold shimmer. The second one is a copper shimmer. And you just use your finger with these. And they're really, really pigmented. And the bottom one is like a more of a dark brown shimmer. I tried these on the day that I got them. I didn't have any makeup on and I rubbed them on my eyes and they were, oh, that, no, that looks good. I didn't do eyeliner. I didn't do mascara, anything. I just wanted to see how pigmented they were. I forgot that I had done that at some point during the day and my eyes were itching and I itched my eyes and then I guess I rubbed my forehead. <laughs> I was thinking it's like you have glitter over your entire face. So once you have it on, do not rub your eyes, which I normally don't because I have full makeup on. And then the last eyeshadow is from Urban Decay Moon Dust, and this color is Lithium, which is a new one to me. I absolutely love Urban Decay. This is like a coppery gold shimmer, and it's just so pretty. Their products... I have finally hit pan on a few of them and they just, they last, they blend well. They're just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So let's move into the face here. I've got a few things for the face. I have been trying a lot of products um, cause I'm home and I don't know, I've been in the mood, I have all this stuff. And uh, I did something to myself a week or two ago 
and I have my entire skin peeling, flaking, red, irritated. So I went back to my tried and true trusty moisturizer from the body shop and it's just the vitamin E. It is just the most, you can see I'm almost out of that. It's just the most gentle, easy moisturizer if you're very, very sensitive and which I am very, very sensitive. So, and so is my poor daughter. I gave this to her too. She, she, you know, so terrified to try new makeup because she has the same skin that I do. This is great. And I also was using the Ultra Repair Cream. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is the travel size and this is really big and you don't need very much of this. I actually picked this up in Las Vegas. Um, I had gone out walking and I got like a wind burn sort of like same thing, just peeling, flaking. It was really cold, super windy that day. I went in Sephora and asked them for something and they asked, you know, how sensitive my skin was and I told them and safe for sensitive skin on there. And this, uh, the travel size I believe is $15. And this has, I've had this since January and I have been using this quite a bit, but you just need like a tiny, not even the size of a pea and just whatever, you know, little affected area that is like super dry. It's really great. And I have an eye cream because I have not been sleeping well. Are you guys sleeping well? A lot of people are telling me they're having really bad insomnia. I know I am, my husband is. So I have gone back to my Chanel Blue Serum Eye Cream and this one is just really, really good. I don't get dark circles. I actually have white circles under my eyes, but you know, when you're fatigued, you just, you know how your under eyes look. This is just really, really a good product. And then I think I have two more things left. I have been burning candles. I have one here from, um, Bath and Body Works and this one is just rose and their candles I love them and this one is a little bit more of a high-end this one is diptyque and it is roses this one is 10 times more concentrated than that one so if you're really sensitive to scent these may not be for you um, I usually burn this when my husband's not home because he is sensitive to it I like it <laughs> but he's not crazy about it and then I also picked up jasmine and this one is a really, really pretty, pretty scent. And the last thing that I have for you, I have not carried a wallet, not even like my Zoe wallet. I've not carried a mini wallet. I've only been carrying card holders. This is my YSL um, card holder. That's just what it's called. <laughs> but it's in this gorgeous red with the, the um, gold hardware. And it has four credit card slots and a little slit down the center. And these also, a lot of sites will sometimes have them on sale. And a couple times a year, usually in June and December, um, their website will have a sale. And sometimes different colors of these will go on sale. This is really reasonably priced compared to a lot of other um, card holders. I also really recommend the Longchamp card holder. Uh, card holder. <laughs> I'm trying to talk too fast, but I forgot to bring that one out here. I, I meant to do that, but... Those are just some of my favorites and I hope that you have an amazing day today. I'm super excited for Mother's Day on Sunday. I'm just having my girls over and um, that just makes me very, very happy. Hope you have a great day, take care. And if you like these kind of videos and you haven't done so already, I'd love it if you take the time to hit that subscribe button down below. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.